On a farm an hour outside Dubai, a very clear demonstration of the link between camel and owner. It's very nice. It's a bond that even a potentially deadly virus cannot shake, for now. <laughs> Mohammed bin Humaydan tells me his family has bred race camels for generations. My father used to take me every day to the camels, and I grew up with the camels. Scientists believe camels are a possible source of MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Quite how it's transmitted to humans remains unclear, but the virus has already killed more than 280 people. And it's spreading, moving from its roots in the Arabian Peninsula through the Middle East and now into Asia, Europe and the US. In Asia, authorities regularly call poultry to prevent the spread of the SARS virus. But for many here, killing camels is unthinkable. In Saudi Arabia, some are taking to social media to defend their animals. They say you're the reason for the virus, but they don't know what they're talking about. Sneeze on my face. Mohammed says he's not worried about MERS either. We have never built it here around, around, as we are camels on around, camels, neighbors, and our family are there, all with the camels. No one get affected of the corona. Fears over MERS feel a million miles away from this place. And in fact, the people I've spoken to today say they're not concerned in the slightest. And if anything, it's going to take a lot more to break the special bond they have with these beautiful animals. As the day draws to a close, a camel is milked for the evening meal. We'll try it inside. <laughs> Joined by other family members, we drink the heated milk. The talk this evening will no doubt be of camels, but not of MERS. That's delicious. Yes, very delicious. Very, very nice, yes. For now, at least, the virus remains an abstract and distant concern. Amir Daftari, CNN, Dubai.